Culinary pioneers over at Taco Bell have created the Doritos Locos Taco. It's a taco wrapped in a nacho cheese Dorito shell. When I found out that Taco Bell sold 375 million Doritos Locos Tacos, I said maybe the Mayans were right. Okay, maybe that was the end they were talking about. That's a million of them a day. It's shocking. I had no idea that a million people smoked marijuana every single day. A West Haven, Connecticut Dunkin' Donuts employee threw coffee at a would-be robber. Not only did she thwart the attack, she added her own badass tagline worthy of the highest paid action stars. She threw the coffee at him and shouted, Go run on Dunkin'! Well, Dunkin' Donuts, I think you just found yourself a new national spokeswoman. And you could tell that she was waiting for years to say that. Just years of just, if I get robbed, I'm just gonna look at him and say, go run on Dunkin'. It's not just that she throws the coffee in his face and gets, you know, gets him to go away. It's that like she does that. If we look at the video, she does it and doesn't skip a beat, okay? She just closes the window and like goes about her business. She's like, clean up aisle seven. I don't know, there's some asshole. That's gotta hurt like hell. Any cup of coffee I have ever had from Dunkin' Donuts my entire life is obnoxiously hot like 45 minutes later. Like when I saw her do that, all I was picturing was that scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark where that guy's face just completely melts off of his bones. She would probably be like, the kind of girl you want to bring with you to the club when shit gets crazy, you know what I mean? Because she would just handle it and be like, all right, play the next Beyonce track. So an exceedingly fancy restaurant in Copenhagen called Noma gave 70 people norovirus, which is a fancy molecular gastronomy word for dysentery. Chef Rene Redzepi is known for his wild, local, foraged food. So when I first heard the news, I thought vomiting after your visit to Noma was just the next evolution of his signature cuisine. The vomit even got a Michelin star. I want to know what the Yelp reviews were on that day. I am not at all surprised that people would get, would start to vomit and they get diarrhea and still want to go back to the restaurant. That doesn't surprise me at all, because if you think about it, that's the ultimate status symbol. You know, people are like, oh, why am I flatulent? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I was at Nona for Valentine's Day. I don't know, I think they should work with this. How about opening up a chain of all norovirus restaurants in LA? Making you throw up so you don't have to. Wendy's gonna start offering lounge seating with fireplaces, faux leather chairs, and flat screen TVs. This is exciting news for homeless people everywhere. And now, how are you gonna tell them, sir, you have to leave because you didn't buy something? Um, you gave me a couch, you gave me a fireplace on this cold winter's night in Sheboygan. They want the fireplaces to make it feel more like home, which is great because I know my home is also filled with people buying chicken sandwiches. And I just am asking for a little bit of self-awareness here. Like, I'm not anti-Wendy's, but just know who you are. Like, as the saying goes, you can put a tuxedo on a pig, but Wendy's is still subpar. Like, I'm probably paraphrasing, but that's basically the gist of it. Denny's is bringing back its Baconalia menu. This year, it's sponsored by heart disease. Barbecue, bacon, mac and cheese bites. All I know is that's not being served at a bar mitzvah. For $25, you can buy a Baconalia commemorative plate. That I hope you keep in your china cabinet and you don't let any of the grandkids touch it. And you're like, Susie, in Granny's day, you could get a whole meal just of bacon. Denny's are making a bit of a branding mistake. And I heard a radio, and I actually thought that what they were offering was a bacchanalia. And as Livy, the Roman historian, put it, a bacchanalia features men seized with madness and with frenzied distortions of their bodies, shrieking out prophecies. Whoever would not submit to defilement or shrank from violating others was sacrificed as a victim. And to me, that's just IHOP. Come celebrate Baconalia, only at Denny's.